Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy 23rd birthday, Jocelyn. Happy birthday to you. Hey everyone and welcome to Storytime with Jocelyn. I'm singing happy birthday to Jocelyn because this past Monday was Jocelyn's 23rd birthday. We're so excited and we have had such a great time celebrating this week with, with her, doing different things. Um, we went to Galveston on Sunday and we just, me and her, spent some quality time at home on Monday, which was her birthday. We watched the Minions. <laughs> she loves the Minions. She loves a lot of things. So today we're gonna to do a special story about the seasons. I love when the seasons change. So this coming Monday, the 20th, will be the first official day of spring. The groundhog may have something to do with that or, or upset with that, I don't know. He, I think he saw his shadow, so it may be six more weeks. I don't know, it's pretty cold right now, but it's not as cold as it is in the north. So, but for Houston, it's cold right now. We had some rain and we still have some rain coming in. So that's the seasons, you never know. But I would love to one day visit a place where the leaves change in different beautiful oranges and reds and dark greens and light greens and yellows colors in the fall. Ooh, I would love to go where you see cherry blossoms for the spring, butterflies fluttering around. Oh, I would love to go where it snows in the winter. It doesn't snow here in Texas that much. If you're lucky in the north, it does a little bit, but it doesn't really stick too long in the ground. Oh, and then there's the summer. Houston, Texas has a lot of summer. <laughs> so today we're going to read a book we call Four Seasons Make a Year. And we're going to talk about the different weather, the different things that happen in the different seasons through the year to celebrate the beginning of spring on Monday, March 20th. So science made simple for curious young minds like you guys out there and like Jocelyn's. So the story was written by Anne Rockwell and the pictures are by Megan Hazley. So let us begin. Four seasons make a year. A year has four seasons, spring, summer, fall, and winter. March 21st, March 20th this time, is the first day of spring. Wind blows and birds sing, daffodils and carcasses pop up through the melting snow to bloom in the dark, wet earth. Leaves sprout on the trees. It's time to plow the field. Spring showers come. Tip, tip, top, little April showers. It's my favorite song from Bambi. <laughs> the pear tree were planted by the porch is covered with white blossoms. A robin sings as it hunts for worms in the ground. It's time to plant corn, squash, and seeds in the field. I plant one sunflower seed by the back door. Tip, tip, top, little April showers. Breezes blow blossoms from the pear tree into the sky. Birds sing as they build nests. Every day the air gets warmer and the earth gets warmer too. Right, Jocelyn? <laughs> June 21st, not sure this year what day, is the first day of summer. Green sprouts spring up from the field. My sunflower seeds sprouts green leaves too. Soon all the trees are covered with leaves. Roses bloom. Bees buzz and butterflies flutter among the flowers. They do that in the spring too. The pear trees empty blossoms turn to tiny green pears. That was June 21st. 
would be a good project for you guys to look at your calendar for 2023 and see what is the first day of each season this year. I already told you the answer to spring. It's March 20th, this coming Monday. But you can look up when summer and fall and winter begin this year. The flower bed in the front yard bursts into bloom. Zienna, sweet peas, lilies and cosmos, and black-eyed Susans. The fields have stalks of corn along the vines of green pumpkins and squash. On hot summer days, I swim in the pond down the road. Aww. <laughs> I love flowers. Especially love them when they're in the ground and not cut. Summer is when we pick the first ears of corn from the field. Mmm, yum. We sell corn, squash, and bouquets of summer flowers on at the roadside road sand. But I won't sell my big, huge yellow and brown sunflower, which has grown so much that it's taller than I am. <laughs> September 21st in this book is the first day of fall. Our pumpkins turn green to orange. And I ride to school on a big yellow bus. Jocelyn used to do that. My sunflower droops in huge blossom, heavy with seeds. It's time for the autumn in some places or the fall in some places. Depending on where you're from, it could be fall or autumn but they're the same thing. Leaves on the trees turn red and gold. Now I sleep under a blanket and wear a warm jacket to school. The bees and butterflies are gone and many birds are flying away too. I wonder where the birds are going, Jocelyn. Where do you think? Hmm. We pick the big orange pumpkins that grow in the field. People drive out from the city to buy them at our roadside stand. Cold wind makes bright colored leaves dance through the air. Ooh! Remember when we read about the great big pumpkin that Charlie Brown found? <laughs> Corn stalks standing in the field turn dry and brown. Pumpkin and squash vines shrivel up. It's time for the field to rest. Pears hanging from the pear tree are big and golden. I bite into one that's ripe, sweet, and juicy. Mmm, yum. I think I'm hungry for some pears too. Now the sky is gray and cold. All the trees but the evergreens have bare branches. Squirrels rush frantically here and there, hiding acorns and nuts. I wonder why. Hmm, to eat when the winter comes. Most of the birds have flown away. I wonder where they went. Hmm. On December 21st, maybe different this year, the first day of winter comes. That very night, snow starts to fall. We sit by the fire Papa built. We watch flames leap and glow and listen to logs crackle. Outside, the snowflakes fall thicker and faster. They're still twirling white in the black night when it's time for me to go to bed. I don't get to see that kind of beautifulness around here. Did you know that there is not one snowflake like the other? A little fun fact. 
In the morning, the radio announcer says no school today. Ooh, the roads are slippery and too covered with snow for the big yellow bus to travel safely. A bright red cardinal hops onto a snowbank. Its mate comes to join it. I think they're waiting for me. For I know just what they want. Those birds love sunflower seeds. <laughs> Jocelyn used to get excited when she had no school. But I still had school at home. <laughs> The big dried up sunflower I planted and grew and saved is lying in a basket in the mud room. I put on my snowsuit scarf and mittens and boots and go outside in our cold white yard. Deep snow comes to my knees as I toss sunflower seeds to the hungry cardinals. Chickadees come to eat them too. Beautiful. Is she ice skating? Under the blanket of snow, everything that grows in the earth is having a long winter rest, but I'm not. I'm building a bright white snowman as I build a bird's peck. Soon all the sunflower seeds are gone. When the spring comes again, I'll better plant two sunflower seeds by our back door. Jocelyn and I love building snowmen in the game Animal Crossing. I push one snowball and I help her push the other. <laughs> it is so fun to be able to build snowmen. We never have enough snow for that. Sometimes, maybe. And that is Four Seasons Making a Year. I hope y'all enjoyed that. And we will see you next week for another story time with Jocelyn and another story. I hope y'all were blessed and learned a little bit about the changing of seasons. And Jocelyn had a happy birthday. So we'll see y'all next week. And God bless. Have a great weekend. Bye-bye.